Oke, okay, kita rumput kepanjang masa nih. So, kuku sud, but let's do this. This video is brought to you by Progressive. Do you know Progressive now partners exclusively with NordVPN to give you the best online security service? And with this exclusive partnership, you'll be able to get all great benefits of NordVPN at the best prices or even for free with Progressive Fiber Bundle. What are the benefits you might ask? Well, with NordVPN, you can secure your devices from online threats. And I said devices, that's plural. You can also secure your home Wi-Fi connection, block intrusive ads, block all the dangerous sites, and not to mention NordVPN is proven to be the fastest VPN provider. Click the link in the description below and when you get to Progressive, tell them MNT sent you. Right, so for some reasons, my choice of mice is always Logitech. And I think because of their top tier line of mice are easily recommendable for both gaming sama productivity punya type. So these are my collections of Logitech mice that I personally own. I've got the Logitech G70 T Lightspeed, the G Pro X Wireless, and the MX Master 3S in white. But before I start, whatever I say are all based on my opinions and experience, and your opinions might or might not be the same. So let's start with the G703, a mouse which I don't really use quite often lately. This is the first wireless Logitech mouse that I've ever owned, and I think the reason behind why I bought this mouse at the first place is because pertama tu aku cari the G Pro wireless uh, and then it was sold out everywhere and there are so many different versions of G series mouse from Logitech and I got overwhelmed so I don't know which one to choose so I paid for the G703 and hope for the best and the thing that I love the most about this mouse is your punya clickiness to me it is so satisfying and the travel distance ain't that bad and after switching from a wired Logitech mouse I definitely improved my accuracy maybe a bit of recency bias factor that time but who cares as long as I am better right and I remember that time it felt quite light but after using it for I think a year Kale, so I started to notice something about the design that makes me uh, or my hand rather a bit comfortable now the body structure uh, is bulky and handful and since this mouse is built specifically for right hand punya user I feel like the hump on the top left of the mouse is a bit too much to a point it's starting to feel uncomfortable and causing slight strain on this part of my hand after hours of grinding and one simple feature that this mouse is missing to me is how easily you can misplace the receiver since there's no internal slot available to store it like my G Pro Wireless. And yes, I lost the receiver. I'm waiting for the replacement to arrive, but anyway, overall out of the three Logitech mice that I have here, this is placed at number three. Now, the MX Master 3S. So the MX Master lineup from Logitech is very well known for its super ergonomic uh, design the max bit electromagnetic scroll feature and its appearance as a whole so this mouse is quite new to me i've never used any of its predecessors before and i am still trying to get used to it to be honest so the reason why i bought it is because first it has both x and y scrolling mechanism which is indeed useful since i work a lot with excel file and video editing secondly because i need a mouse with good ergonomics since my editing process for a to Z actually takes one whole day or maybe two and third is because it complements my whole MacBook setup but I'm gonna be honest here I'm still trying to get used to using it and one of the things that makes it a bit hard for me to master this mouse is because I'm accustomed to finger trip grip or claw grip rather than a full palm grip and I think people that are using palm grip on their mouse would get used to the MX Master faster than I do I just that's just how I think it would be because the way this mouse is designed complements that kind of grip and in terms of the weight and features I haven't really got any problem it's a bit uh, heavier uh, than my G703 and about the quiet click feature is pretty cool but in return the clicking feels a bit mushy to me but i know some people wouldn't really mind about it but coming from g703 yeah it is a big difference and for those people who already own the mx master 3 i don't think it is worth uh, the upgrade in fact there isn't much upgrade from the previous one so if you can get the mx master 3 not the s version for a cheaper version so i suggest you to get that rather than this now out of the three this is ranked at the second place now the G Pro Wireless. Let's talk about it. So this, by far, my most favorite mouse amongst 
all three and i can say this mouse even after six months being released tomato it was still pisang panas bagiko because it sold out everywhere that's how popular it was locally so i've used this mouse a lot you can tell from the markings on both click or buttons i'm sorry kalau it is dirty but yeah I, I use this mouse a lot. So what I really like about this mouse is first of all, because of your weight, it only weighs 80 grams, sits between the jet lampau barat, pin the jet lampau ringan, and it also fixes the problem with uh, my G703 punya design, the top pump design, because the design of this mouse is ambidextrous, means to say the design can be used for both left and right handed people. Um, I'm not the left-handed, but I prefer my mouse with equal ergonomics so that my palm sits perfectly on top of the mouse. But for people uh, who are left-handed, you can switch your punya buttons on it from left to right, and it works just as intended. And the heart of this mouse is, to me, is perfect. Like, I somehow find good relief using this mouse after um, using my MX3S, you know, for long hours of editing. But one thing that I would change is to have the DPI button on top of the mouse, like the G703, rather than at the bottom. But I low-key understand why Logitech decided to have it on the bottom, though, you know, to avoid accidental clicking. But again, I do prefer the DPI button to be somewhere easily accessible without having to lift the mouse. So... So far, this is still my go-to gaming mouse for now, the G Pro Wireless, because I'm still looking for another one to top this. I don't know whether I should go for a Logitech or Razer or any other brands out there. So if you have any recommendation um, that kamu boleh recommend aku that you think can top this mouse, which currently sits at the top of my Trinity, drop down a comment and I might as well try it. Right? Thanks for watching. I see you guys in the next one. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know why I did that. Bye bye.